Sometimes your watch band clasp will wear out before your watch band does. If you don't want to replace your whole watch band, you can always replace the clasp itself. Use this guide from Esslinger.com to learn how to change a butterfly buckle with push buttons. How do you know if your watch clasp is a butterfly buckle with push buttons? There are a couple things to look for. If your watch clasp is completely hidden by the watch band and all you can see are two rounded metal pieces sticking out under the band, you have a butterfly buckle with push buttons. You will need a pin pusher, a small ball peen hammer, a watch band holder, a pair of jeweler's pliers, a digital gauge, a parts tray, a replacement butterfly clasp, and optional new band pins. The first step in replacing a watch band clasp is to remove the old clasp. Open the clasp so that it is fully extended and you can easily access the points where the clasp meets the band. Choose one side of the watch band to start on and insert that end of the band and clasp into the watch band holder with the watch crown facing up. Be sure to line up the hole in the band closest to the clasp with one of the holes in the watch band holder. Now, take your pin pushers and test them in the hole until you find the one that fits in place. Insert the pin of the pin pusher into the hole in the band. Using the flat end of your small ball peen hammer, tap on the pin pusher to push the watch pin out of the band so you can remove it from the clasp. You will have to use some force, but start with a small amount and work your way up so you don't damage the watch. Keep tapping on the pusher until you cannot push the pusher in anymore. Lift the band out of the watch holder and remove the pin with the jeweler's pliers, placing it aside in your parts tray to keep it from rolling away. With the first end of the watch band hanging free of the watch clasp, turn the band around so that the other pin holding the second half of the clasp to the band is positioned in the holder and lined up with the hole in the holder. Take your pin pusher again and position it in the hole closest to the watch band clasp that holds it in place. Tap on the pin pusher with the flat head of your ball peen hammer to push the friction pin out. Incrementally increase the pressure until you feel the pin moving out of the band. When the pin is almost out, lift the band out of the holder and pull the pin the rest of the way out with your jeweler's pliers. Place the pin aside in your parts tray. Set the watch and band aside and pick up the old clasp. Before you can get your new clasp, you need to measure the old one to ensure it fits in the watch band. The first measurement you need is of the tube that connects the clasp to the watch band. Grab your digital gauge and close the large jaws on either side of the tube and record the measurement. The second measurement is of the maximum width of the clasp itself. This measurement is taken by measuring the distance between the outside edges of the buttons. When you take this measurement, be sure you do not press the buttons in. With the measurements in hand, you can order a new watch band clasp. When you are ready to insert the new watch clasp into the watch band, you will need your watch pins. If the original pins do not look worn and are not broken, you can reuse them. If you do need to reorder new pins, you can measure them in one of two ways. If you have the pin, it will be easiest to measure the width and length of existing pin to find the replacement size. If not, you can measure the inner diameter of the case tube and the width of the watch band at the end that connects to the clasp to get the same measurements. Take the watch band and place it in the band holder to keep it steady for you. Then, insert the first pin in the hole in the end of the watch band. You will have to hold the pin in place with one hand while you take your ball peen hammer and begin to tap it into place. Check your progress frequently and be sure to stop pounding the pin into place before it comes out in the opening for the tube on the watch clasp. When the pin has almost reached that gap, remove the band from the holder. Open the new watch clasp, 
Then, holding the watch band, take the new clasp and insert the tube at one end of your clasp into the space for it in the end link of the band. Once the clasp tube is in place, reposition the band and clasp in the holder to keep the tube in place and the band steady. Continue to push the pin into place with the flat head of your ball peen hammer. As the pin slips more into place, take your pin pusher and hit the hammer against it to avoid damaging the watch band by hitting it with your hammer. Remove the watch band and clasp from the holder when the pin is flush against the watch band. Turn the watch band around so you can attach the second end of the watch clasp to the band and place it in the holder to keep it steady. Position the second friction pin in the hole and carefully begin to tap it into place with the flat end of the hammer. Be sure to stop before the pin reaches the gap where the tube of the clasp belongs. Remove the watch band from the holder and position the tube from the free end of the watch clasp in the open space in the band link. Make sure that the hole in the tube lines up with the holes in the watch band link. With the clasp tube in place, Replace the watch band and clasp in the watch holder. Position both pieces so they are held in place while you hammer the friction pin the rest of the way into place. Use the flat head of the hammer to drive the pin into place. When the pin gets close to being in place, take your pin pusher and use it to keep the hammer from striking the watch band. When the pin is flush against the watch band, you can remove the complete watch band from the watch holder. Test the watch clasp to make sure it closes correctly under the watch band. When you are satisfied that the watch band clasp is exactly what you wanted, put your watch on and wear it again. To learn how to complete other simple watch repairs, check out slinger.com's Learning Center.